How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Portland and I cannot spend it just sitting inside. So if you couldn't tell based on that intro of me loading the car, I am going on a trip and this is gonna be kind of cool. Um, it's gonna be an overnight trip. So I really have two goals for this trip. Um, first of all, I want to continue my FPV drone series. For those of you who are new to my channel, basically I've been going around to a bunch of different Oregon state parks and just filming some aerial footage. I've gone to a couple different state parks so far and both of those videos are on my channel. So if you're interested, definitely go check them out. So that's the first goal for today, going to a new state park and doing some filming. And then second of all, um, testing out my winter camping setup. So it's now early November, so I guess you could say late fall, early winter, but the temperatures are finally starting to get colder. The first ever time I actually went camping in the Sequoia was in the winter. It was about 15 degrees Fahrenheit and I was definitely not prepared. It was a cold and long night. Um, so I've made a few adjustments, made a few changes, and I kind of want to test it out. The weather is saying the temperatures are going to be pretty similar to that one night. It looks like um, dropping down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight will be a good test to see if I can stay warm while doing camping um, kind of later in the season. Those are the two goals for today. Um, I'll take you guys along with me and hopefully it's a great time. Hey, no worries at all. Uh, yeah. Have a blessing. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right, I got gas, I got food, let's hit the road. All right, so I just made it to Hood River. Uh, this is always a really pretty city, kind of out in the Columbia River Gorge. Um, and it looks like I have about one hour left, so halfway there. We're off the main highway. And it looks like it's just uh, these kind of back roads for the rest of the way. Never been on this road, so it's always kind of cool. Oh my gosh. I have no idea how I've never heard of this or this road, but this is so, so pretty. Look at this. Now all of a sudden it's just huge fields of, I guess, hay or something, but that just changed so quickly. So I definitely want to explore everything here, um, but first of all, I'm gonna drive over to the campsite. Supposedly in November, starting in November, the campsite is first come, first serve. Um, no reservations needed. It is a Wednesday, so I assume it should be fairly quiet, but I'm just gonna drive over, just make sure that there's a spot, but um, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Well, 
there's literally one other person here and there have to be 15 or so different campsites so I didn't really expect it to be busy. It is a Wednesday in November. It is nice to just have some open spots. The campgrounds are super nice. There's plenty of space. Um, they're pretty separated and every single one has a uh, kind of like a picnic table with a cover on it. It is not warm out here though. Oh my gosh. But check it out. This is the view from the campsite. So it's about three o'clock already. I definitely got out of town a lot later than I was wanting to this morning. Um, and daylight savings was this past weekend, so sunset is a lot earlier. Um, I only have about two hours, I guess now, until the sun goes down. And there's all these kind of like hills like you see behind me. So it might get darker kind of in this valley um, even sooner, sooner than that. As much as I'd love to just hang around here for now, I'm gonna go do some exploring. Um, just make sure I have enough time to find the spot that I want to fly and um, set up and do all of that before um, the sun goes down and it gets dark. Time to go explore some trails. Just finished getting all of my gear together. And uh, yeah, let's go see what's out here. I just walked like 100 yards from the campsite and this is already the view. Pretty insane. And as awesome as that spot is, I just wanna keep walking a bit farther, see if there's anything else up here. Some of these mountains out in the distance too look look really cool. Although actually this does not look like a bad spot. Look at this. Some of the things I look for when I'm looking for a spot to fly are just a uh, pretty open area that I could take off from. Ideally there aren't a ton of trees. Um, this is pretty good. There's a couple trees to my left and right, but there's a big flat area over here. As soon as the drone gets like tucked behind a rock or something, not all the time, but sometimes you can lose signal either with the controller or the goggles. It's important to pick a spot um, where you're gonna have line of sight of the drone the entire time that you're flying. There's not a ton of time. I can see the sun. It's getting closer to the mountains already. So I don't know if I have a ton of time to walk around and explore tonight. Um, and since I really want to do some filming, I think I might start setting up here. Um, there's a great line of sight to all of these uh, kind of like hills behind me as well as this hill over here. Um, and I guess over on this side too. So this is kind of a good flat area um, with a lot of different spots I can fly. <laughs> The sun is just dipping below the horizon. You can see behind me. Um, so it's pretty much dark down here, but there's still some light up on the mountains. I just finished flying. I just did five different batteries, just battery after battery after battery. I just couldn't stop myself because this area, oh my gosh, this has to be one of my all time favorite areas that I've flown at so far. It's just so quiet, so open. There are so many cool spots and um, just different angles you can get flying like with this, with the FPV drone specifically. I mean, if you just look behind me, it's just unreal. I honestly have no idea how I've never even heard of this spot. The sun is almost gone now. There's just a tiny bit of light left on the mountaintops and it is definitely cold out here already, um, which is not a good time for tonight. My plan now is to just pack everything up, put all this gear away, get back to the car um, and probably start making some dinner. What a freaking gorgeous night. Honestly, like if it's windy tomorrow or 
freezing cold in the morning and my hands are too cold to fly, honestly, I wouldn't even be disappointed. This night alone was just absolutely, absolutely amazing. These last couple hours just by the river, getting some drone flights in, enjoying this beautiful light. That was enough to make this trip totally worth it. I always laugh, this is something that used to happen to me a lot when I was really into photography. But when I get so focused, it's like, I don't even think about the cold or the temperature or the weather. My family knows what I'm talking about when I say I have a couple stories where um, I was out shooting and so focused on shooting, it wasn't until after I stopped that I realized like how cold I had gotten, how cold my hands had gotten. Um, and this is one of those nights where I didn't even think about it, didn't even know how cold my hands were getting when I was out flying, when I was doing the drone flights. But now that I'm walking back to the car, I'm realizing that it's cold out and my hands are freezing. And, uh, but at the same time, that's how you know it was a great night. It looks like the other truck rolled out. So uh, I guess I got the campground to myself for the night unless anyone else shows up. So for any of you who have watched my channel for a while now, back in, I think it was February or March of last year, I took my very first overnight trip in the Sequoia. Um, it was very cold and I was very, very underprepared. Um, the temperatures got down to about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I had a super thin camping foam pad, um, very thin, very uncomfortable. And then I had my sleeping bag and no pillows, nothing. That was it. Um, Let's just say it was a very long night um, and I didn't sleep well. Part of the reason I wanted to come out here tonight is because the temperatures are supposed to be um, cold again, similar to that first night. And I made a few adjustments and I want to test them out and see if they make a difference. So um, now I have my normal blanket. Um, I have another blanket underneath and then underneath that my sleeping bag. So pretty much the sleeping bag plus two other pretty heavy blankets. I'm hoping that's enough to keep me warm. I'm not sure if my uh, stove just isn't working properly or if it's just so cold that it's not heating up, but I've had it on the burner for like 30 minutes and it's like not even warm. It's like maybe like a little bit above cold, maybe edible, I guess. The sun is almost fully down now and it's cold, so I might just eat it, have some cold dinner in the cold. Yeah.
it's about 6 a.m. I'm not sure what time the sun rises. Um, I was looking outside and it's still pretty dark out there. Overall, pretty good night. <laughs> Only woke up like a couple times um, and it wasn't even because I was cold. It was just, I woke up um, just sitting in the car now at about six. Um, it's definitely, I think, the coldest it's been. It looks like a pretty morning and I think the wind stopped. It was pretty, pretty windy last night. I want to explore more this morning is um, down way off in the distance. Since I flew a lot of different lines over on this side, I think it would be cool to kind of switch it up and go to the other side. Before I head over there, I do want to just head back down to the river one more time and just enjoy some of this morning light. One of the coolest things I've found so far is that there are just all these little benches which you could come and hang out at, sit at, read at, drink coffee, whatever you might want to do, all around the park. And so many of them are just at these amazing locations, like this one, just underneath this tree here. And then behind you, you get this window kind of looking out towards these huge hillsides with all these unique rock formations. easily one of the biggest reasons why I don't do these trips more often is just I always think about the gas prices and with the Sequoia getting like 12 or 13 miles per gallon I just always am like well what if it's like just not worth it you know to spend all this money and there's no guarantees that it's gonna be a great trip or, or you're gonna get good weather you know all of this stuff could happen I get out here on a day like this or a trip like this and think that it was like 80 bucks worth of gas to get me out here and then I get to experience this. It's always just, it's always so worth it. As hard as it is to spend the money, you can't beat it. So I just packed up camp and everything and now drove over to the other side of the park and I'm just looking for a couple spots to fly my last batteries. The wind is starting to pick up, you might be able to hear over the audio right now. Definitely trying to find a spot to fly here relatively quickly. Alright, I think I found a spot. And there's even a bench. How nice. Let's go ahead and get set up. I just finished up some beautiful flights. In a second here, I'll flip the camera around 
and show you guys um, this location because this is pretty much perfect. There aren't a lot of trees, lots of open area, and just some so many mountains around. I definitely pushed it a little farther than I ever have before. Um, I brought out this seven inch, um, seven inch. Uh, it's a 399 project, seven inch, and it's built by QS Labs. It's kind of like my main long range drone. I didn't have it at Smith Rock, um, although I probably would have loved to have it because the flight times are like eight to nine minutes, which is really nice for cruising around. It was definitely my longest flight I've ever done. Um, I made it to 1.5 kilometers away. Um, basically, if you see behind me, this big mountain, I flew all the way to the very top of it and then kind of dove back down. So absolutely gorgeous spot to uh, spend the morning flying. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. This was one heck of a trip, I'll tell you that. Just an overnight trip, but I mean, between last night's flying down by the river at sunset, and then this morning, I got a super nice walk in. And then just now, um, at this spot, doing some more drone flying. Yeah, just couldn't have asked for better weather and better conditions. It was a little bit windy, but I mean, nothing even close to preventing me from doing any flying. So just super grateful for this great weather and um, the chance to come out here and do this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, definitely drop a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And also if any of you have suggestions for other state parks you want me to go check out, um, drop a comment below as well. Um, I'm always looking for new spots to go and fly. I've been really enjoying making this series and I definitely want to continue it. So with that being said, 
I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Um, if you could like and subscribe, it really helps me out and allows me to keep making these videos for all of you. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.